want to start off today's video by saying that if you don't like seeing car accidents and um, hearing stories about car accidents, then right now would probably be the time to tune out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great, staying safe and sane and healthy and just everybody's getting along out there. Uh, some of you guys noticed the other day on my community post that I was um, in a vehicle accident. Um, I'll explain a little bit what happened and um, you guys can see pictures and stuff like that. I'll put it in here uh, as well as we'll take a ride over and look at the vehicle itself. So. The other morning, I dropped my daughter off to school. She has to be there at eight o'clock, so I dropped her off. It was a little bit before eight. Um, I take off, I go to pull over and ask my wife, hey, you know, do you want Starbucks while I'm out? Because uh, I'll gladly, you know, run and grab that for you if you want. And she was just like, yeah, that sounds good. So I went to go get her Starbucks. And um, as I was going there, <coughs> excuse me, as I was going there, I um, started having a panic attack. Like I started just, you know, really sweating. I couldn't focus on anything. I was looking, you know, I was looking all around. I couldn't, nothing was making sense. It was, it was a panic attack, full blown panic attack. Well, in doing so, I apparently at some point took my hat off because my head was sweating and I did like this to wipe my face. And when I did, I looked up long enough to realize Boom, I went, I had drifted over into oncoming traffic and started to, um, to go almost fully into that lane and went head on with another car. And um, the, what I remember was hitting. I remember just boom, and then the car spinning. I just remember seeing the horizon in front of me just going like, you know, in a complete circle, just over and over and over. Well, in doing that, I messed up my arm. Uh, all the airbags went off. I got hit in the face, um, the chest. My seatbelt has like dug into my stomach. So, I mean, I can show you a little bit what it looks like. And that's where, my, where the seatbelt went into my gut. So, I realized I got a gut, I don't give a shit. But the seatbelt went into there. Uh, I have these pads right here on our seat belts. So that kind of saved me from having, you know, big marks and shit on my chest. But I do got one up here on my shoulder as well from where the, the you know, it, it launched me forward. Um, also got a messed up elbow. You can see it's kind of kind of swollen just a little bit. Uh, messed it up on the bottom there. But yeah, so I'm okay. As far as I know, the lady that I hit is okay. Um, I think I more or less got the worst of it. She was fine, but I'm, I'm the one that kind of took on all the injuries and stuff. Um, I hate that it happened. You know, it, it definitely scared the living shit out of me, and I'm 100% certain it scared the hell out of her. Uh, so, you know, I just, I wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed a little bit and uh, just kind of show you what's going on. So, what we're gonna do is let's take a ride over and we'll look at the car itself and um, we'll be back and talk more about it.
Okay, so you can see it's it's pretty messed up. I mean, the, it's it's a total loss in my eyes anyway. The insurance company has yet to look at it and see and tell us if it is in fact a total loss. We're not 100% certain yet. Oh my God, my chest is hurting. Um, sorry, it, it hurts to breathe right now. Um, but yeah, it's it's um it's gone. I mean, the the car itself is gone, which which really sucks because. That was a vehicle that we inherited from my mother and father-in-law whenever they passed, because they passed pretty much at the same time from COVID and left that vehicle to my wife, you know, and, and that really sucks that it's gone because, I mean, yeah, it holds sentimental value and everything, but, you know, it, it was something that she remembers, you know, going places with her mom and stuff like that, and now it's gone, you know. And that, that part really sucks, and it, it bums me out to no end. And she's been an absolute trooper. She has been, at least you're still here. It's just a car. Cars can be replaced, yada, yada, yada. Well, I know that, but still, to me, it stings like hell because it feels like I've taken something away from her, and I hate that. I hate that feeling. Yes, it was just an accident, and it's something that, you know, in my eyes, I don't feel could have been avoided. Um, when I was having a panic attack, what... I was trying to do was oh, oh my god I need to I need to I need to pull over I need to pull over so that's where I was doing my brain was going in 18 different directions at once so I was like I need to pull over like now and just just pull over stop driving like this and just pull over and that's what I was trying to do well in the process like I said of going like that and wiping my face and getting too comfortable behind the wheel bam and it, it took them out and uh and me as well so i'm okay i'm i'm here to fight and live another day it just is what it is um the the overwhelming outpouring of of kind messages and and amazing words of encouragement and stuff that i've received from you guys throughout this has been just absolutely incredible um, I love you guys so much and it means everything to us to know that, you know, you guys truly do think about us and, and you know, that y'all care enough to, to leave a message or people have hit me up on Instagram and, and actually text me. The people that have my number have texted me and been like, hey, what's going on? Talk to me. How, you know, what the fuck, you know, and I have to explain everything over and over and over. But I mean, it is what it is, man. I'm just thankful to have you guys. I'm thankful to still be alive. And I'm, I'm just just thankful to see another day, be able to hold my daughter and hug my wife. That's that's the main thing that, that really, really gets me right now. Um, is It could have been a, wa a lot worse. It, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. And I know that, you guys know that, and the people in the other car definitely know that. So I just, I'm, again, I'm here, I'm safe, I'm happy, everything's fine. I'm in a lot of pain, I'm pretty pretty beat up right now, but I mean, it's nothing that I can't stand, you know, or nothing I can't take or deal with, it's just gonna have to be that way for a little while. But, you know, I mean, as many times as I've fallen on skateboards and, you know, been hit, you know, messing around with my friends, you know, all that stuff it, it just is what it is you know i mean it you get used to that kind of shit as you get older i mean as you know growing up as a kid but man as you get older it takes a lot longer to recover from that kind of shit so <laughs> so that's exactly where i'm at with it i'm just i've been recovering and just sitting around um yeah and and that's it man i'm just i'm, I'm trying to you know get back on my feet we got to figure out the whole insurance situation, rental cars, getting a new car, uh, what all that's gonna entail, I don't know. We're just gonna have to figure everything out. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted and um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. I'm very, very happy to be telling you guys this and I'm super, super stoked to still be alive. So having said that, Thank you guys again for everything. I love you all so much. And uh, man, I cannot tell you how much your kind words and everything have meant to us. So I will see you guys next Sunday. And um, I want you all to take care of yourselves. Bye.